So you have two ways of running your Kafka Connect workers, either in standalone or in distributed mode. And we will get to try out both in this course. We'll get to try standalone first, and then we'll do distributed mode for the rest of the course. So standalone mode first. Basically, a single process, a single worker, runs all your connectors and tasks. The configuration is bundled with your process, and it's very easy to get started with. It's super useful when you're doing development and testing when you're doing your own Kafka connector. It's not fault tolerant if that process fails or dies, you're left without a connector. It doesn't scale, horizontally at least. You can scale vertically by having a better CPU, but that's it. And it's really hard to monitor because that's a, sing a single standalone loan process. It's very hard to monitor. Now, distributed mode. You have multiple workers, their servers basically, and they run your connectors and your tasks. The configuration is not bundled with the workers. It's submitted using a REST API, and we'll see how to use our REST API in details. It's super easy to scale. To scale, you just add workers. You just add more servers, and automatically, these new workers will retrieve tasks and execute them. And finally, it's fault tolerant. Basically, if a worker dies, and we'll see in the next class, if a worker dies, all the tasks are rebalanced onto the available workers, and your connectors can still, can still go on. So it's really nice. You get fault tolerance. You get horizontal scalability. So all of that makes it really good, really useful for production deployment of connectors. So remember, standalone mode is made for development and testing, and distributed mode is made for production deployment of connectors.